Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Explosion. Sometimes it seems like celebrities live in a different world. Their lavish lifestyles and high-profile personal lives often appear stranger, or at the very least, way more exciting than fiction. And that's especially true when it comes to their homes. With that said, here are some of the biggest mansions owned by movie stars. Number one, Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys' incredible talent has made her one of the most beloved singers in the world, and lately, she's been enjoying the fruits of her labor by picking up some stellar property. In 2013, she and her husband Swizz Beats purchased actor Eddie Murphy's New Jersey compound. In 2016, they listed the 5.42 acre property for $14.9 million. The 25,000 square foot home offers 8 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms, and it features a newly added wing to the house which Keys and Beats used to house their art collection. For some added entertainment, there's a two-lane bowling alley, movie theater, indoor pool, and recording studio. Number 2, Grey Gardens. The film Grey Gardens is considered a cult classic by many film fans, thanks to its eccentric stars, Big and Little Edie Beale. Now, the titular estate that served as a backdrop for the documentary is on the market for $19.95 million. Journalists Sally Quinn and Ben Bradley bought the Hamptons New York home several years ago and worked tirelessly to restore it to its original glory. The home was built in 1897. Today, it features its original colors, marbled sinks, wainscoting, and Dutch doors. Quinn even decorated Grey Gardens with refurbished furniture she found in the attic. In in addition to the charming house itself, the property features a view of the ocean, a private pool, and predictably, some truly lush gardens. Number 3, Jennifer Lopez. Everyone says that Hollywood is a small town. When it comes to the real estate market, that's certainly true. Jennifer Lopez bought her 8-acre Bel Air, California estate from actress Cella Ward in 2016 for $28 million. The 14,000 square foot home boasts heart pine floors that are more than a century old, as well as antique doors and reclaimed wood beams from Mississippi and Louisiana. The house also has a home theater that seats 30, a greenhouse, and a spacious library. But perhaps its most unique features are outside the living area. The grounds offer up a vineyard, lime trees, in a large private amphitheater. Number 4, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah is one of the wealthiest women in the world, and her property holdings definitely reflect that success. In February 2016, she expanded her real estate empire when she bought a $28.85 million estate in Montecito, California. The 23-acre property, known as Seamare Farm, isn't just a place to call home, though the 4,750-square-foot main house does look pretty cozy. The property has mountain views, citrus trees, avocado groves, private wells, and a pool. Plus, the farmhouse has stables, fencing, riding rings, and a trainer's cottage that allow horses to be kept on site. Number 5, Mel Gibson. Although he's the proud owner of multiple luxury properties, it's Mel Gibson's Costa Rican hideaway that makes this list. Referred to as Playa Barragona, the 500-acre property includes over two miles of pristine beachfront, three houses, and hundreds of acres of jungle that is home to a variety of wildlife. The main seven-bedroom, eight-bathroom home was constructed using coral stone and features ornate stone carvings, Italian and Spanish tiles, and balconies overlooking the courtyard, pool, and open-air dining room, and commercial kitchen below. The other two houses include everything you could ever need in a home, including their own private pools. Number 6, Gwen Stefani. Currently for sale with a list price of $35 million, Gwen's Hollywood Hills 12,000 square foot home was previously owned by Jennifer Lopez. Known as The Summit, the gated and guarded home features dramatic architecture and a black and white design scheme and includes six bedrooms, including a master suite with two separate master bathrooms and dressing areas, five fireplaces constructed from patterned marble and granite, and every indoor luxury you would expect. Outside, there is a one bedroom guest house as well as a large infinity pool, outdoor kitchen, dining and living area with a fireplace, a playground, a lighted tennis court, and a chicken coop. Best of all, the property offers spectacular views of the San Fernando Valley. Number 7, Lori Laughlin. Also currently on the market for $35 million, this 12,000 square foot LA area home is owned by Fuller House's Lori Laughlin and her designer husband, Massimo Giannulli. The couple purchased a six bedroom, nine bathroom home that overlooks the Bel Air Country Club for a mere $13.995 million in 2015, but have given it a complete overhaul, along for the huge price boost. Today, the neo Mediterranean style villa features all kinds of architectural touches including a double-height exposed wood ceiling in the foyer, floor-to-ceiling glass doors, a basket-weave patterned stone tiled floor, and a gold tone bar that is linked to the living room via three massive archways. Outside, there are multiple stone terraces, arch loggias, and a spa. Number 8, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Power couple Beyonce and Jay-Z's reported 49 million bid on a 14,000 square foot Los Angeles estate in October was outmatched by Gucci designer Tom Ford. In the meantime, the two and daughter Blue Ivy will have to settle for their 20,000 square foot, 150,000 per month rental, which apparently includes six bedrooms, a spa, an art studio, and an Olympic sized pool. That house is believed to be worth $45 million. Number 9, Jackie Collins. 
Jackie Collins amassed a fortune writing steamy novels, and she spent her time and money personally decorating every last inch of her 22,000 square foot home in Beverly Hills. Collins passed away in 2015, and the modern mansion she owned for more than 20 years was put on the market for $30 million. The size of the home isn't the only thing that accounts for its high price tag, though it's certainly a large part of it. It has 8 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms and a private gym and screening room. Plus, there is a large gallery and a living room with built-in shelving. Marble floors, numerous skylights, double crown molding, and large staircases make the home look like something right out of Collins' most romantic stories. Number 10, Ellen DeGeneres. When your house has an actual name, you know it's kind of a big deal. Ellen DeGeneres and her wife, Portia De Rossi, have called the Villa home for several years, but they're looking to unload the Tuscan-style Santa Barbara, California estate and are asking for a cool $45 million. The 10,500 square foot home was built in 1930 and designed by Wallace Frost. It offers nine fireplaces, eight bathrooms, six bedrooms, and multiple libraries. Situated on a 16.88 acre lot, the property comes with several fountains and sculptures, as well as eucalyptus and olive trees. The architectural designs of the house is true draw, though. The Villa boasts among other Italian-inspired features, 18th-century tiles, exposed beam ceilings, and terracotta surfaces. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch a few videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.